The Sony PlayStation 1 is remembered as one of the most, well, memorable game consoles ever made. But one mystery has always remained. Why did the Sony PlayStation switch from long boxes to dual CD cases? And today, we're going to find out why in a very confusing way that may or may not be fact. But an interesting story nonetheless. So when the Sony PlayStation first launched in the United States in 1995, well, you had these cases. Well, actually there were two kinds. The first kind was this as you see here, a cardboard case. And the second kind were these plastic cases. See a resemblance? Well, they're almost similar to the same cases that were used for both Sega CD and Sega Saturn at the time. Eventually, about a year after the launch of the PS1, or Sony PlayStation, the cases somehow mysteriously changed from cardboard cases and these cases to jeweled CD cases, which, eh, they're pretty good. Uh, well, they're good enough that it lasted the rest of the Sony PlayStation's lifespan all the way up until its discontinuation. So why did they make the switch from these cases to the cases that the Sony PlayStation had for the rest of its lifespan? Well, there are actually a couple theories why. No definite solid answers, but well, just listen to them and decide which one you like best. There are currently three theories of why they changed. Well, theory number one was bigger box, better value. I mean, I could see that as being viable, but I'm not sure if I can buy that one. The second theory that's been going around for years is that they purposely made these cases to confuse Sega users. Well, I don't know if that's a viable theory, and honestly, I don't quite believe that one either. But the third theory is the most believable of them all. The third theory is that the reason that they put them in these cases to start with was because of the way retailers had their, basically their gaming section, their shelves. They could pretty much accommodate things in this kind of squaritude if squaretude is word, um, let me explain for a moment. In 1995, when these games first came out, everything pretty much came in a square box of some kind. Sega Genesis came in a square box, Super Nintendo came in a square box, Nintendo, original Nintendo came in a square box, and the simple reason why this theory is plausible is because of the way the shelves were made. Everything was made to accommodate square boxes, which is the most believable and plausible theory of why they put them in long boxes. But the thing is, retailers must have been really confused when they introduced jewel cases to the mix. And I'll tell you why. Because at the time that they introduced them around 1996 and into 1997, they were still making these cases for certain select PlayStation games, and what ended up happening is that retailers had typically four different ways to display PlayStation 1 games, which must have been really confusing. So the sad reality of things is that we may never know why they made the Switch. Maybe a Sony official can someday say, hey, this is why we switched. But, to be honest, no one has ever came forward with a straight answer of why. So, here's my question I want to ask my viewers. Do you like the big boxes or the jewel cases better? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. We make new episodes every week, as long as ever stuff. Um, so, until next time, when we have more unexplained gaming stuff or more gaming stuff in general to talk about, tune in and we'll tell you some stuff. I'll see you next time.